This time I wanted to talk about um, our journey to adoption. It's a really tough decision, um, really, really tough. Uh, I, I didn't want to make it. Um, we had been told that we would lose every pregnancy and I didn't want to believe it. So we, we kind of almost ignored it. Um, for, for a time I ended up getting pregnant again and losing that baby. And at that point I knew I couldn't do it again. Um, it was, there was just too much loss and the fact that, that we were told we would lose every pregnancy. Um, you know, how much do you put yourself through? How many babies do you sacrifice in, in the name of pregnancy? Um, and I had to take a long hard look about what it was I was doing this for. Um, I wanted to be a mum. So I, um, I, I thought, you know, we need to do something different. So we decided to adopt. The process is actually fairly short now. I think they're trying to, to, to make it faster to become a parent, um, but it's, it's quite complex. It's quite um, grueling. You have to go through a lot of training, um, find out about uh, different scenarios that children may have been through um, and how to, to best support them through it. Um, and it can be quite intrusive. They want to know everything about you, obviously to make sure that you are a safe and capable family of looking after often fairly traumatised children. Um, we went through that process um, and actually it took us a lot longer. There were several delays. Um, we were having a house build and had to wait until that was completed. Um, we had hoped we could do it concurrently. Um, and Covid hit so there were delays with the build because there was um, delays in getting um, materials and then because of Covid also there were delays with the adoption process um, so court orders weren't being granted and things like that. So actually there was, when, when it came to us being approved there was actually very few children um, available for us to, to, to adopt. Um, so we ended up waiting and being approved for a year. Um, before we were linked. Um, it was a very frustrating time um, and during that time, it, it, you know, every, every thought went through my head is, is this still what I want? Um, you know, how, how hard do we fight for, for parenthood? Um, it felt like every, every hurdle just led to the next hurdle. Um, but we were finally linked with um, beautiful siblings and um, and since then we've been preparing to, uh, to, to get to know them and bring them home. Um, we have to have, um, well our, our local authority have requested that we have a room each. So we have uh, two rooms prepared for, for the children. Um, we've not bought a huge amount of things. Um, children generally come with, with a lot of things that they've, they've accumulated through foster care. Um, so we didn't know, you know, what it was that we might need, um, and also until we were actually linked, we didn't know the ages of the children. Um, so it's a bit of a scramble at the moment to try and make sure that we're ready and we've got everything in place um, for their rooms, and then we will go to um, a process called um, introductions, where we slowly but surely get to know the children, spend more time with them. Um, every day and then at the end of that we bring them home.